There's probably no god in modern society that has been more misrepresented than Hades. So today we're going to clear out the air and talk about the god and who he is and who he is not. society, the biggest misrepresentation is that Hades is Satan. Hades is not Satan. Hades is the god of the underworld and the lord of the dead. So to think of it this way, that we have Zeus, who is the Allfather, who is the king of the gods, who is the Sky Father. Then you have his brother Poseidon, who is over the seas the waters and the oceans. Then we have Hades, who is over the underworld, who watches over us after we have passed on into the next life. That he reigns over us as we die, as Zeus reigns over us as we live. It's very easy to have had Hades be the equivalent in modern eyes to Satan. The thought of death, people don't have positive views of that and that Hades is in the underworld that Hades the realm of Hades is guarded by Cerebus who is not a cute puppy in modern mythology in the saturation we have in modern day it's very easy to see Hades as the villain of humankind when in fact he is no more villainous than any other god or goddess now, in ancient times, everyone took Hades maybe more seriously than any other god, maybe, maybe more seriously than any other goddess. The reason being is that they feared death, that Hades, even his name, was almost unspeakable because for fear of bringing that energy into your household. So they would call him Pluton if they ever wanted to refer to Hades, the deity, instead of using that word, because Pluton meant bringer of wealth. It had more of a, another aspect of the god that didn't involve death and dying. Now, Hades isn't the god of death. He's the god and king who presides over the dead. But they still didn't want that name spoken for fear of death of the dead. So much so that Hades was only mostly in ancient times ever spoken of when we did prayers and when they did prayers for their deceased loved ones that had passed. There were also very few but there were temples to Hades. And the most famous temple was only opened once a year to pray to Hades, and the only one allowed to enter that temple would be the priest. And the reason why the temple was opened was so that the loved ones could once a year commune with their deceased. So the priest would get in contact and pray to Hades to be able to be the channel for a person's deceased loved ones. Why once a year? It is said the reason why they only open that temple once a year, because man only lives and dies one time. So there is no evil in Hades. There is no evil in the deities. As we mentioned in the video about Seleucius, the one in ancient times that wrote about the gods, he said that all gods are good that there's no evil to be found in them. And that can be said in Hades, the god, as well. He has no ill intention towards mankind and no wrath. He is just the god of the dead, of the underworld. And that, rela that relation has translated into modern times of Hades being the bad guy. Because he's dark in modern times, he's gothic. 
And when you look at mythology, there are certain aspects that people that don't know any better, they can relate to being evil. As I mentioned, how Cerberus has was the guard of the underworld. And he was, I mentioned before, not a cute puppy. So there are a lot of modern eyes looking to the myth of Hades and the god Hades that would see scary things and relate that to evil things, which is opposite of what Hades is and why he is who he is and why he and who he is king and what he's king of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video that offering to Hades is traditionally again done outside. Even in modern times, people are kind of averted to the idea of doing some kind of ritual on the inside for bringing miasma into the house, which is kind of like a, a dirt, you would say, that could need cleansing before trying to do another ritual to a non-Cathonic deity. Also, it just makes it easier to do rituals to Hades outside so you can pound the actual earth and give your offerings in the hole. When you dig a hole, pour your offerings into that hole. Just always remember that if you ever do an offering to Hades, to traditionally you don't look at it. So know where that offering ditch is and pour it in there and don't look. And also, again, just another reminder, a prayer to Hades if you want to contact Hades in honor of your dead, that, or if someone has passed, which is what I do, we pound the ground like literally with your fists and pray into the earth. Some people lay stretched out on the ground and pray to the ground that way, but that's not necessarily a necessity. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.